<laughs> it's like, we gotta keep that in. It's like I, I like moved it twice and I moved it further away each time mm-hmm. than where I wanted it. Okay. All right. So, back again. We've got three bourbons this time. Once more into the breach, dear friends. That is it bourbon? And, is, uh, what is stupid? Shakespeare stupid. Yes. Oh, okay. wait. Did I go well, too far? Hot takes with Cody. Assuming? Yeah, I mean, it could be. Huh? Could be? What? But it might not be. Mm. What'd you say to me? I didn't say nothing. Yeah. Nothing that's more. right. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life have I been so disrespected. <laughs> we, have, we have fun. <clears throat> okay. So, as usual, uh, we don't know what's in front of us. All right. I guess without further ado, let's start uh, trying them. And then we can talk about what they are. So, left, leftist first. So, we're discussing marks now? What? He said left. Ah, <laughs> like uh, Karl Marx. Ah, that was, that was great, Cody. That was a good one. I know. Hmm. <laughs> Smells maybe uh, cherry? I get a lot of wood up front. It's like, like oakiness is what I'm smelling. I'm not really getting cherry at the moment. Okay, I'll just be quiet now. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> Throw it out there. What do I know? <laughs> Smells good though. Usually the first one we smell when we like at this Rick and I anyway have to sit back. And, Whoa, first whiff a little too strong, but mm-hmm. this is a little more yeah. like nuanced and subtle than that. Yeah, a little more subdued. Mm-hmm. It's like <clears throat> some dark fruits. Like if I got that, you get that you know, that perfect angle where the the smell just like really hits you hard. Like, yeah. like it's not here, it's not here. It's like. Right there, I get some like dark fruits, like maybe like stone fruits. Yeah. Maybe like plum. Yeah, a little bit. I almost get a little anise flavor. It's a scent, musty mm. oak. Musty, yeah. Kind good, of a good call on that. Almost. So you got more fruit, and I get that anise, but the oak smell sort of reminds me of. Uh, like a uh, wild turkey rare breed hmm. but not not with a lot of vanilla like wild turkey yeah yeah and vanilla is if this isn't overly sweet i mean there's a fruit note there for sure that hits at a certain spot but yeah mostly it, it's still mostly oak what i'm smelling oaks nice charred oak staves <clears throat> all right shall we guzzle here we go now remember, Rick, bourbon cures ulcers. Hmm. Cures them. A little bit of rye in there, I want to say. Yeah, it's like... <clears throat> some winter mint up front. Very slightly, maybe. And then, yeah, like... Ooh. Dark fruit, maybe plum. A little musty oak. Oak's um, coming in hard right now in the aftertaste for me. <clears throat> a lot of rye. Like kind of a plum raisin, but it's not like super heavy, super dark. But that mixed with a uh, a lot of rye, maybe even a, a hint of you get too much mint, maybe like right at first. Yeah, and yeah. then, and then it, for me, it shifts kind of into like a pear flavor before it's before the fruit goes a little darker. Um, I'm not getting as much. I, I know I mentioned plum and I was smelling it. I'm not tasting. There's something like kind of stone fruity, but it's almost more like like apricot or something that's not the dark range um, of that spectrum. I'm sure it'll be something completely different by the time we come back to it. Yeah. And, and we're acclimated Amen. to the bourbons. <laughs> we say all these notes and then we come back and then we'll say something totally different look like fools. What are you, anything you're picking up on this one, Rick? Um, yeah, as I picked up the... Um, uh, the what would you say the muskiness? Um, Maybe it's just like oak for me, like oak and the dark fruits. Is it? Would you say overall? Like, would you call it, call it more sweet? Would you call it like dry, um, more um, like woody versus fruity, or what would you? I'd say more woody and dry. Okay, there is some fruit there. 
still getting a little bit of maybe some like wintergreen or like spearmint or something, but it, it's like a flash in the pan. That's oh yeah, yeah, and, and uh, minty. Yeah, and then it, but it goes away quick, and it's I don't know. It's like a, um, <clears throat> a little bit of a like a slightly mm, crumbly like pastry taste, a little grainy. Like wheat grain, kind of wheat um, oats. Yeah, it's just like, a little bit. Um, to me, it's like the outside of a, a pop little. tart, <laughs> but like no frosting. <laughs> yeah. Don't get, don't start thinking of sweet, like or a fig Newton that kind of. Yeah, I can see that. There's some hefty pours. Number so. two. Yeah, these were. <laughs> these That's one were thing little... I thought of. I need to buy like a measuring uh, thing. I got um, maybe honey. Yeah, I can see that. Or maybe it's just like, I don't know, it's sweeter to me, but... It's still kind of woody, but it's, uh, yeah, it, the, uh, whereas the wood stood out and they, the, the flavors, the, or the aromas, rather, came in kind of stages. This one's more, like, unified. It's like, it's like honey roasted. Yeah, I don't get a whole lot off of it. I don't get a whole lot of spice. <clears throat> it's just like a little honey, a little oak. This one's more... Like cornmeal, like than even the first one. I think. Corn. Yeah, sweet corn, um, little honey. That's about it. This one's not too much. This one, yeah, even more subdued. I think that was the word you used, Rick. The, yeah. The first one. I think this one's even more subdued. Yeah. Possibly. I would agree with that. Maybe some like caramel apple. Golden crisp caramel apple. We're gonna be playing Mario Party later. It's gonna be so much fun. Hey, you know. Yeah, it was a little flat. Not much yeah, like, finish either. Wow, this is totally yeah, this is totally different than the first one. Like it's it wow, it's like going down a slide, like it's a it just like <laughs> washes out. Almost seems like not what you know, not watery, but like low proof. Yeah, it's well, it's like it's like it's like to me, it's sweet, kind of like maybe a very um, it, up, up front, right up front, it's a little sweet, like a um, I don't know, like a red delicious apple, something not very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Then the alcohol, like that flavor, dissipates completely, and then an alcohol burn comes in and washes it out, and just like that's what sticks is like the alcohol vapor in the mouth, but it's a little disjointed. It's like rubbing alcohol, <laughs> like a little bit in the back. It's kind of like, it's not even very sweet. I just get like corn and cereal grain and then just ethanol. It's not even that hot, really. I don't feel like it's that high of proof. It just, it's yeah. in absence of other flavors. I'd just get say... A, okay burn and that's just kind of the finish and it um, smells better than it tastes <laughs> it maybe a little bit of honey like on the finish but it could be a neck for thing i don't know but it, i yeah i'm not impressed by this <laughs> so far <laughs> now we'll see how it is when we come back to it. it it helped a little bit to have a palate cleanser but yeah a little not so <sighs> on to three so time for number three <sighs> You like cotton candy off that one. Ooh, I was going to say butter popcorn. I was going to say a mix between sense. butter popcorn and cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you just right, Ricky? Mm. You like corn syrup and like sweet corn syrup <clears throat> and butterscotch. Verging on like cream soda, but not quite that sweet. Yeah, caramel. A little vanilla. Would you agree, Rick, that this is like sweeter? Oh, yeah. This one seems like the... Yeah, not, yeah, either, either of the other two. Like, sweetest and richest smell of the three. The first one was a little sweet, too, but it wasn't rich like this. This seems like... Yeah. To me, it's, it, again, butter. It's like it's like thicker and fatter. Yeah, I just picked up the vanilla. Let's see how it looks. Like orange, maybe? I think that was a pretty good first step. I like that one more than the other two. It's kind of a watery start, though. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, 
watery, and then the flavor, boom. Yeah, it's so delayed, it's weird. It's like two or three seconds of just kind of water, and then... I would actually say... Surrounds the sides of my tongue. So far, this might be my favorite drink that we've had with as far as the um, aftertaste is concerned. It's really pleasant. Yeah. For me, anyway. Gosh, it's so weird how... Like, it has probably mostly the same ingredients, you know, as the other two. Yeah. And it's like, but for some reason, those they're just something that coats your tongue <clears throat> for a little bit. Kind of an oily start that's wa- that tastes... Like, mo- most of the flavor is, like, obscured. And then suddenly, you, you, it, like, dips a little low, and you, you yeah. feel the flavors coming. Then the flavor hits the sides of your tongue and just, like, lingers. I mean, <clears throat> what would you even say it tastes like? I'm very I, lost. I'm like, trying to <laughs> like, pin it down, and it's hard. You get oak, and then, like, sweet corn, like, syrup, but it's not, like, super overpowering, like, corn. And then, like, the finish is, like, I, I don't know what taste, but it gets a little more savory towards the end. I get a little bit of a, there's a leathery note in there somewhere. It's almost like a little bit of, like, honeysuckle. And, like, I want to say, like, something odd, like ginger. Um, but mostly, I, I'd say it's, yeah, it's, like, corn. Um, it's not quite as, like, Caramelly as I was hoping it would be. I think I'm just searching too hard and trying to fit something, but maybe like a on the finish, like a papaya or something, because it's like I was get kind of savory with papaya. It tastes like not like sweet fruit like a lot of the other ones, but yeah, kind of like meaty almost or something like just like yeah, I don't know, so, which is what I get with this, but I can't really associate. Any certain flavor with it, it's puzzling. It's good, but kind of puzzling. I don't, I don't know what I'm tasting. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly with you there. I mean, it's a, it's weird because you taste the hell out of it, whatever it is, but it's not a common flavor, or it doesn't break down into things that are easy to analogize. It's almost a little barnyardy. Hey, yeah, hey, it's corn and oak and. I don't know, just like some kind of like salty, savory <clears throat> taste on the end, the back of my tongue. Rick, uh, I'm having to carry this video because you're over there <laughs> clamming up. Yeah. I think this is how PewDiePie got to where he is. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back three to one or one to three. Uh, my intuition is to go one to three. <clears throat> All right, well, this intermission is going on and on, so why don't we go back to one? Well, that okay. can't. well we'll give Bentley a minute here. Yeah, hold on. Good Lord. All right, number one. Here we go. I'm number one. Did you smell Adrian's first? number two, because he smells like poo. Hey. Still woody. So we got but... the uh, oaky. Mm-hmm. For sure, but it's a little more well-rounded now. Initial, the initial whiff. Oaky, musty, caramely, dark fruit. Mm-hmm. Pretty much where we left it. Yeah. And maybe like a blackberry even. Now I'm getting the the uh, rye there. The end. The dill. There we go. Yeah, wood still dominates this for me. And, uh, Distinct sweetness on the mid palate. That's so woody. Especially the last half. There's almost something like there's almost like a minerality to it. Definitely got a lot of like dill, a little menthol, not much. A lot of oak, the sweetness, maybe a touch of like honey. A little perfumey in the middle. Yeah, I would say perf- I would I would join you on the perfumey, but because number two is coming up, <laughs> I'm reserving my use of that adjective until. Still that one. Just a little bit of sweetness. Like, I'll say, for me, the sweetness is like <clears throat> just a little. It's there, but it don't impress it you much. Nope. To me, it's not. It doesn't quite achieve that level of complexity of like balancing that you need for complexity. But all right. 
I That's guess we two. Move on. And two. Uh, impress a little more on its second trip. Yeah. Do something for me, man. Do something. It's like honey smacks. Cereal. It's like honey and cereal grain. And corn. It's like graham cracker. It's like like I, I'm gonna say like corn pops, but it's more like cereally. Yeah, bowl of corn pops with some <laughs> snacks thrown in there. We got snacks uh, and I'm corn not pops. Snacks at all? Maybe corn pop pops. But some honey. The dash of corn pops is not the most um, aromatic thing I've ever smelled. I want to like this one more. Just like it's two. Such a ramp of flavor. Yeah. Roller coaster, but it's like it starts in the trough and then goes back up. I smell um, where I was the first time. It's just like it's kind of like the nose. It's just kind of like sweet corn and cereal grain and then ethanol and it's over. For me, it's like pretty diluted at first. I just don't get much. Like first hits my tongue, and then the flavors reveal themselves. I just took another sip of one. Man, there was like a huge splash of dill. Mm -hmm. I had this, the second one, after I took a sip of water, and I felt like I took two sips of water. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't say the second one to me is, I wouldn't call it watery. Yeah, one's a lot darker. Dumb. It's like, charred, it's like almost like everything in it's burnt. A little bit. Two? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm standing by, I don't care if you disagree. Sometimes you gotta be a man and stick to your guns. They're both woody, and the second one to me has, lacks as much sweetness. Yeah, and that back end's all like tobacco and leather. It's like. Like burnt stuff. All right. All right. Back to number three. Two a day at the fair. Two. If you really, really search, you can find some stuff I like in it. But it just makes me think like if it was aged a couple years more, and I'm probably wrong. It's probably like 15 years old. Feels like if it was aged a little bit more and a higher proof, and particularly the higher proof then it would, you know, pack more of a punch. Yeah. Because I don't necessarily hate the flavors that are going on, but you're going to have to search for them. That might be, <laughs> this, we're saying kind of the same thing. It's it smells like a day at the fair again to me. What, three? Yeah. Okay. Number three. You know, like funnel cake. But I know that's not like a real flavor that they no, used to No, flavor. that's, I've heard that before. It's like a funnel cake if you poured like a... Like, instead of, like, a raspberry Opener. syrup over it, you pour, like, corn so syrup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little grain in there. I don't know. So, the first couple sips, I was getting a strong tobacco note. Now, when I'm sipping it, it's like, I get, my tongue acclimates to that, and now it comes off as, like, kind of a mm -hmm. vague sweetness, and it's like a, God, this, this one's puzzling. <laughs> it's almost like squash, kind of. Strange type of flavor. Yeah. A butternut squash with some. And it's so soft now. Butter and sugar on it. I'm going back to two because I want to. I did two to one because I feel like that there is something to that going in the reverse order. You don't get the same flavors in a yeah. row. So I'm going to do that for this one too. Damn it. I'm like, I want to like three based on my first impression of it. And it's like not letting me like it. It would get like buttery. On which one? Three. Yeah. Going it's back like in the reverse order. I mean, like <clears throat> buttery, I guess, corn. Yeah. And I, three is so weird. I, don't I know got what like to say buttered about it. popcorn. Like. Yeah, that's what we said. I said that. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just like, while it's like popping and cooking, like. Not and done it's been heating up, heating up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Hey. The practice. 
<laughs> the practice days. I mean, I would call you handsy, Cody, but it's not literal enough. Do you know your ranking, Rick? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got my ranking. Three. What am I going to do with you, dude? We've been through a lot together tonight, and I feel like you're letting me down. Or you're maybe leaving me stranded on the side of the road. Maybe that's why it's so appealing, so sexy. It's a mystery. It's unattainable. All right. Who's ready to go first? Not it. Ricky. I'll go first. <laughs> so my number one top pick is number three. I think part of it is just the fun and trying to figure it out. And I thought it was, you know, I like, I like my, any alcoholic drink to be on the sweeter side. So, sure. so this, this the sweetest of the three. Next up is number one. And I'm not exactly sure. I can't really, I'm not <clears throat> sure I could say why I liked it more than two other than just, it seemed like it had more of a, an actual flavor to me. It was, you know, wood, uh, oaky, and a little bit minty, and it had the dark fruits. Whereas two is like, especially at first, it was just too like diluted and it took too long to get to the the flavor. I think I will mostly agree with everything you said, um, except I'm gonna say one, then three, then two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say for one. And it's, they're all fairly close to me, fairly. One and three in particular, because three was just so hard to wrangle and get like a consistent vibe off of it. I'm gonna put it after one. Um, two, I think, probably without a whole lot of fuss, ends up being all of our least, it's, or it's gonna average out to being our least favorite. Yeah. But it's not that different, really, than one. Um, yeah. It's just like kind of worse in all categories, but not like huge steps down. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna say one, three, two. I'm gonna say for one, for being the winner, I'm not impressed with it. Cody, I'm gonna pretty much echo what you got. One, three, two, but um, I don't know. So <clears throat> the way I felt about them, one was to me by far the most different than the other two. You know, like dark fruit and for me a lot more oak than the others and uh a lot of rye the dill mm -hmm. and a little menthol that's like, true you can that's get point. any of those things on any of these two maybe some oak but i'll give you yeah the rye is definitely different than there too the oak not so much but in the fruits on it the darker it i don't know if it's necessarily even fruits just darker for sure these two both were like kind of corny cereal grainy to me um i think that um, as far as like the, you know, comparing these two then, uh, two, I felt like, I felt like I could distinguish the actual flavors in it. It was like corn, yeah. honey, tobacco. And I kind of like those flavors. They're just really kind of, you know, muted and you have to search for them. Um, three, I don't know what the hell it even tasted like. <laughs> It's like corn and sweetness, and that's about it. all I could really determine. Um, but <laughs> what grades it, would you give them? It, but it, it had like a butteriness, that, mm -hmm. like a little thicker mouthfeel than two that I liked more. I'd say two is a little more drying too. Yeah, on the palate. Um, okay, let's figure out what this crap is, shall we? Here we go. Mysteries to be revealed soon. Alright, the consensus best, actually unanimous, well not unanimous, but the one that uh, was on our far left, is Henry McKenna 10, Bottles and Bond. <clears throat> is, uh, how much is that? Um, like 50 it's... bucks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number two. The consensus worst. That surprised me. I liked it. This is definitely the most expensive. It was just a little thin and drying. Victor's 10. Well, you know, everything's about that initial, uh, what, what, what am I trying to say? Um, first appearance? Well, or first impression? 
So the one that was most confusing to us and has been getting claim all year. My Jack favorite. Jack Daniels 10. My favorite. Your favorite, yes. You nailed it, Ricky. It was up there. It was so dang complexing. And so that one is not technically a bourbon. It's a Tennessee whiskey. But it's, yeah, it can be cat. Whereas yeah, no, it, it, it is a bourbon. They just charcoal filter it. So under tennis, under federal law. Oh, I didn't know that. No, no, <laughs> not bourbon. Hang on. No. You know what <laughs> I, what I, I think maybe. I, I was hoping to like this a heck of a lot more. This is just easily. Like, the I would like it first. <laughs> like here's, here, let me put my bid before as well. And maybe you'll. So they, oh, by the way, theme ten year aged. Is okay. a, I always get those two mixed up too, Mictors and McKenna, because they're just like, I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna put this forward here as uh, doing these taste tests. One of one of the many things I've noticed, uh, <clears throat> because I'm thinking, you know, because I love Jack, and I could tell it 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 seemed like a higher quality to me. Like it, like it said, it would taste like what, buttery. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like buttery and kind of thicker. Um, but what I find for myself when I'm doing these and because I, you know, like, do you get that when you're doing these? Cause I'm trying, I like, end up being analytical and I'm like, well, guess I'm going to rank this one better. Cause it seemed like it was the most unique and had the most going on. But yeah, like, I don't, I, like if I, I, if I sat to... down and I was on the couch and I was just like, I probably like, wouldn't drink three over that probably. Right. I think, I think that's probably the case, which is why I was very hesitant to make three. And the second one for me is because it's like three, I probably would end up drinking more, but yeah, it's, um, I suffer from uniqueness bias, whatever is on the table. That's the most unique. I tend to like the most, um, it didn't really pan out this in this round. And it's like, yeah, all of these were, have been getting good reviews. Mictor's 10 should not be getting C's, you know, like that's considered a good, a good buy, even at the price of, in which this, this runs like 130 or something. This is like, I'm going to guess 50. Jack Daniels 10 was like 70, I think. Um, and was, I think that whatever I got them for was at a store. So they're all, these weren't secondary or anything, but anyway, um, but I, off of this, you know, in this class, I would have hoped Mictor's would have easily won and it did not. Other than that, they're 10-year age. They're only 2% difference in ABV from, like, the highest to the lowest. Um, yeah, I know people really like Mictor's 10, but you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. Individual notes or complexity or whatever. One was the most different in, in profile. Two really was kind of, like, thin and, and uh, drying. Which mm -hmm. I would hope wouldn't be the case for something that's ten years and super expensive. I mean, and I then could see the Jack Daniels would seem like the highest quality. It was real viscous, and this is I your, just couldn't figure out the. This is your crowd pleaser, by the way. I would say if you're gonna like have people over that don't do this a lot, if you're yeah. gonna open any of these for some reason, you probably wouldn't. But you'd probably start with the Jack Daniels ten. The, but it makes sense that we were getting a lot of wood notes out of these because they were they're aged longer than the average thing that we tend to drink. So, um, those are good, but yeah, there's, that's why it just makes me wonder, like with, again, I also said with the Michters that, uh, I liked what was there getting kind of like corn and tobacco, I got more like tobacco off of that one than the others, which I enjoyed, especially in the, the finish, but, uh, it just seemed like something that would really, really benefit from a higher proof. I mean, yeah. I love higher proof regardless, but that one yeah. in particular is like, it is the lowest of these three, not by a, you know, we're talking per, a couple percent, but uh, yeah, I agree. It should be 55. Which maybe. I wonder, I feel like Mictor is pretty much everything they make is low proof, but I'm sure they make some. Yeah, I couldn't tell you, but all right, there it is. Straight there from the horse's is. butt. Somebody finish my bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> well, get on it, Ricky. It's going to be you, buddy. I still think it's all, and this isn't even my favorite cereal, but I still think a safe bet is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, just yeah. I just oh, yeah. Well, I had a organic brand. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. 
two months in all for you. It was an organic. It was more expensive <laughs> than an actual cinnamon <laughs> scrunch. <laughs> what was it called? Like, like, um, hold on. I have no idea. It's called Cine Squares. <laughs> yeah. C- cinnamon bread. Stegosaurus spikes. Cinnamon bread crispies. <laughs> no, I think we should do it through this. Oh, I'm going back through. <laughs> Just never been so thirsty in this life as I'm over recording. It's always two, then three. <laughs> I think your dog is gonna just poop into a pile of dust. It's so dry. <laughs> I think that hit the spot. I'm gonna kick your ass in my No, you won't. Yes, I will. You'll see. No. <laughs> no, here's what they do. These guys gang up on me. <laughs> They're like, true. wow, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Three Rick's gets one. I... I mean, we're always stealing his stars left <laughs> and right. Just being Even the AI, unfair. a bunch of zeros and ones, doesn't know anything <laughs> about anything. Chooses me. <laughs> that is that's mostly true. But it's funny. 